Welcome to the Full Freedom Life Channel. Watch this video on how does the kidney transplant surgery work. Click like and subscribe and learn to live simply, healthy, wealthy, and happy every day. A kidney transplant is a surgical procedure that's done to treat kidney failure. The kidneys filter waste from the blood and remove it from the body through your urine. They also help maintain your body's fluid and electrolyte balance. If your kidneys stop working, waste builds up in your body and can make you very sick. People whose kidneys have failed usually undergo a treatment called dialysis. This treatment mechanically filters waste that builds up in the bloodstream when the kidneys stop working. Some people whose kidneys have failed may qualify for a kidney transplant. In this procedure, one or both kidneys are replaced with donor's kidneys from a live or deceased person. A kidney transplant can free you from a long-term dependence on dialysis machine and the strict schedule that goes with it. This can allow you to live a more active life. However, kidney transplants aren't suitable for everyone. This includes people with active infections and those who are severely overweight. During a kidney transplant, your surgeon will take a donated kidney and place it in your body. Even though you're born with two kidneys, you can lead a healthy life with only one functioning kidney. After a transplant, you'll have to take immune suppressing medications to keep your immune system from attacking the new organ. Like this video so far? Then click like and subscribe to the Full Freedom Life channel to learn how to live simply, healthy, wealthy, and happy every day. Here's an overview of how kidney transplant surgery works. Number one, pre-transplant evaluation. Before the transplant, both the recipient, which is the person receiving the new kidney, and the potential donor, the living donor, undergo a thorough evaluation to ensure they are suitable candidates for the procedure. This evaluation includes medical history, physical examination, blood tests, imaging studies, and compatibility tests for living donors. Number two, finding a donor. There are two types of kidney donors, living donors and deceased donors. Living donors can be family members, friends, or individuals who volunteer to donate one of their kidneys. Deceased donors, on the other hand, are individuals who have previously agreed to organ donation and whose family consents to donate their organs after death. Number three, tissue typing and compatibility. For living donor transplants, tissue typing is performed to determine the degree of compatibility between the donor and recipient. This helps ensure the best possible match to reduce the risk of organ rejection. Number four, preparing for surgery. Once a suitable donor is found and all evaluations are completed, both the donor and the recipient are prepared for surgery. The recipient typically undergoes dialysis shortly before the transplant to help manage their kidney function until the new kidney is transplanted. Number five, the transplanted surgery. The transplant surgery is performed under general anesthesia. During the procedure for living donor transplants, the donor's kidney is removed using a surgical technique called nephrectomy. The donor's remaining kidney is usually sufficient for their own kidney function. For deceased donor transplants, the donor kidney is retrieved from the deceased donor who may have previously consented to organ donation or their family consents after their passing. The surgeon places the healthy kidney into the recipient's lower abdomen, typically on one side. The donor kidney's blood vessels are attached to the recipient's blood vessels and the ureter, a tube that carries urine from the kidney to the bladder, is connected to the recipient's bladder. Number six, post-transplant care. After the surgery, the recipient is closely monitored in the hospital's intensive care unit or ICU or a specialized transplant unit. Immunosuppressive medications are prescribed to prevent organ rejection and to allow the recipient's body to accept the new kidney. Number seven, recovery and follow-up. The recipient's recovery process involves regular follow-up visits with the transplant team. These visits ensure that the transplanted kidney is functioning well and that the recipient is adjusting to the immunosuppressive medications properly. 
Number eight, long-term management. After the kidney transplant, the recipient will need to take immunosuppressive medications for the rest of their life to prevent rejection. They will also need to maintain a healthy lifestyle, adhere to the transplant team's recommendations, and monitor their kidney function regularly. Kidney transplant surgery is a complex and delicate procedure that requires a skilled surgical team and careful post-operative care. When successful, it can significantly improve the recipient's quality of life and extend their lifespan. However, like any major surgery, there are potential risks and complications associated with kidney transplantation. The decision to undergo a kidney transplant should be made after careful consideration and consultation with medical professionals. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more updates and for more upcoming videos. Bye-bye for now.